Sometimes the more we try, the more everything goes wrong. So today we're gonna embrace the beauty of chaos and make a bunch of amazing desserts with help of balloons. Let's do this! I love waffles, but one thing I love even more is a waffle cake made with cream, raspberries or any other fruit. It's super quick and easy to put together, but tastes divine. Let's decorate this yummy cake using balloons. <laughs> Safety first, I'm putting my experiment glasses on to protect my eyes. Let's grab a needle and pop this balloon to find out what's inside. Whoa, what an explosion! A real cloud of sweet icing sugar! That looks delish, but hold on, we need more toppings! There's definitely something yummy inside this long funny balloon! It's raspberry sauce! Nom nom, this is going to be so delicious! Check out this sweet waterfall of raspberry sauce! It seems incredible and I'm getting so hungry just looking at it! Yummy. We have one more mysterious balloon to pop before we can attack this tasty dessert! Let's see what's hiding inside! Oh, the colorful sprinkles! They make any dessert so colorful and fun! I mean, this looks incredible, doesn't it? Such a rich and filling treat! You can make your own waffles to make this cake or buy pre-made ones and literally put this dessert together in two minutes! I can't wait any longer, I'm just going to take a bite! Yup, this is just as good as it looks! I'm so impressed and my tummy is happy as well! I can't wait to make this waffle cake with strawberries and blueberries or even try the chocolate version! It will be delightful for sure! Mm. How about we make some fruity mousse? I'm totally up for it, but since I got no clue how to make it from scratch, I'll just use a store-bought packet to prepare it. The instructions say to put the content of the package in a bowl and add a bit of water. Now let me just grab my trusty hand mixer and let's make this thing all fluffy and full of bubbles! Obviously, if you make your mousse, make sure to follow the instructions on your packet because they may be different from mine! When you're happy with the consistency, grab a mold and pour the fluffy deliciousness into it! OMG, can I just drink it because it looks way too good! No, no, we need to place the dessert in the fridge and wait for it to harden! I can't wait any longer, so let's have a look if our mousse turned out any good! Flip it upside down on a plate and leave the mold up to reveal your delicious masterpiece! This actually turned out perfect! A true strawberry mousse cake! To make it even more tempting, let's decorate the plate with some marshmallows! This is such a great idea for a quick birthday cake for you or your friends! I think it looks so cute and I love how shaky and bouncy the texture is! Totally adorable! What kind of topping would you go for? I think strawberries and chocolate go super well together, so I'm picking chocolate sauce! Let's snip away a piece of the balloon and let it rain! Can you imagine if chocolate rain would be a real thing? Ah, a girl can dream, right? <laughs> but this dessert! OMG guys, it looks so incredible! I can't cope with it! Seriously, I don't think I've seen anything prettier in my life! This is what I call an epic shot of chocolate perfection! I am in heaven! I think we need to add some color back to our mousse cake! Let's see what we have! Pink sugar? No! Cocoa? No! Icing sugar? No! You know what? I'm feeling adventurous! Let's go for the mysterious balloon! Can you guess what's inside? Let's find out together! 
It's a variety of beautiful sprinkles. This looks so pretty. I'm super impressed with our dessert and I think it looks gorgeous. It's true, right? Sometimes we want to make everything so perfect, but in the end, it's better if we just decorate the desserts randomly using balloons. We get a perfectly beautiful mess. Mmm, tastes even better than it looks. The fluffy consistency from the mousse works so well paired with decadent chocolate and crunchy sprinkles. Definitely a 10 out of 10. You can even cut it in pieces and mix up a little bit. I know, it doesn't look the best now, but tastes amazing, trust me. <laughs> What is your favorite ice cream flavor? For the longest time, my fave was vanilla. But with years, I have become more experimental. And now I like to try different, especially fruit flavors. However, today I went back to basics with a scoop of chocolate, strawberry and vanilla. To make the ice cream cup even more delicious, let's stick in two waffle rolls as well. Time to transform this rather plain ice cream into a true specialty. Oh yes, we're making Oreo cream for the topping. Put a bunch of Oreos and some cream in a blender. Whiz it up well until you get an even, smooth and rich consistency. Consistency. If you switch cream for regular milk, you actually get an Oreo milkshake, which you can drink straight away. Alright, time to transfer this creamy yumminess into a balloon and we're ready to spice up our ice cream. Snip off the end of the balloon and let the Oreo cream pour down your ice cream cup. This is so much fun Whoa. to watch. Finally, the ice cream is becoming rich and decadent, yeah. just as we like it. But hold on, there's more. We have one more balloon. Hmm, I wonder what's in it. Can you guess? Maybe sprinkles or coconut? You know what? Let's find out together. Whoa, it's a beautiful explosion, that's for sure. But what is it? We have to take a closer look. Oh, it's cereal. Such a cool idea, using cereal wow. as a dessert topping. These tiny stars are sweet, crunchy, and nonetheless so adorable. Mm, our ice cream cup really looks so extra and delicious right now. I can't wait to dig in. Yep, that's officially the best ice cream I've ever had. But wait, presentation is super important. Important. So I'm gonna stick in one of these lovely little umbrellas to make it even more cutesy. That's what we're talking about. Small details like this can make all the difference, don't you agree? If you have a chance, try making Oreo cream or Oreo milkshake. Trust me, it's so good and you can thank me later. <laughs> I'm always in the mood for a good old cake roll. This one looks pretty tasty by itself, but are you ready for an epic transformation? I bet you are. Which balloon should I pick? Too late, I already decided for a yellow one. <laughs> Sorry. Hmm, what on earth is inside it? Well, only one way to find out. Is it snow? Of course not. That's icing sugar, but I agree. This looks like snow would be falling down on this yummy cake roll. Now I want to show you a quick and easy way to make yummy and surprise surprise healthy fruit sauce for any cake or dessert. Take a blender and put in a banana, some raspberries or other fruit of your choice and a bit of coconut milk. Mix it well until you get a nice smooth and even consistency. You could drink this as a smoothie, freeze it and make popsicles or use it as a cake topping like we're doing today. Cut away a piece of the balloon and enjoy this most delicious view ever. How yummy, right? Cake rolls can sometimes taste a bit dry and dull, but this fruit sauce will take it to the next level for sure. Time to continue with one of my favorite fruits ever, coconut. I love coconut milk, water, yogurt, coconut itself, coconut oil, you name it. It is the best. Put some inside the balloon and pop! How gorgeous! Let it snow once again, this time yummy shredded coconut. For the final topping, we're gonna take sprinkles, no. Cacao, no. Let's try chocolate pearls. I wonder how they look like. Ready, set, go! Mmm, looks so yum! I think we can all agree that this was one extreme makeover of a rather boring cake roll. I mean, check it out! Icing sugar paired with raspberry sauce and coconut topped with delightful crunchy chocolate pearls. Let's cut into this beauty and have a taste. This cake bun is actually so soft and tender, I am impressed. And the cake overall tastes divine, just like I imagined. I definitely approve this one, it's delicious. Do you know how to make the fluffiest mm. pancakes that turn out perfect every single time? I'll show you real quick. Separate egg whites from egg yolks. You remember the plastic bottle hack? I still use it all the time. Beat the egg whites with a hand mixer until you get stiff picks. This looks perfect, so it's time to set it aside. Take the bowl with your egg yolks and pour in 220 grams of plain flour, 2.5 deciliter of milk and 1 teaspoon of baking powder. Mix for a minute until all the ingredients are well combined. 
Lastly, you wanna add the egg whites to the mixture. Fold them in carefully so you still keep all the bubbles and the fluffy texture. When the batter is nice and even, we're ready to bake some pancakes. I'm sure you know how that's done. Pour some of the mixture in a hot pan and wait until it gets brown. Then flip it around and get the other side golden brown too. Check out this perfect little pancake. On the plate it goes. I made a bunch of these because I love them so much. I wanna turn this pancake tower into an amazing, out of this world epic treat. Let's start with chocolate. I decided to spread a generous amount of chocolate on top of each pancake layer and oh my, the result is unreal. It looks like a real chocolate pancake cake, doesn't it? My birthday is coming soon and I know what kind of cake I want this year. <laughs> Seriously, this thing looks so good, I can't wait to eat it all. What? You're saying we're not done yet? Oh, the balloons! All right, all right, let's see what's inside. More chocolate? Well, what can I say? I take it. Told ya, Whoa. I'm a real chocoholic. It's a problem. But oh man, how can this look so gorgeous? Do you see the light reflecting on the chocolate sauce? This literally is a chocolate masterpiece. I almost can't believe my eyes. I feel like some crushed nuts would make this cake look even more divine. Ready, set, go! What a marvelous explosion of crushed hazelnuts, num num. And you guessed it, there's more. In my opinion, no pancakes are perfect without fluffy, fresh whipped cream. And we have a lot mm -hmm. of it to decorate our pancake tower. Wow, what a delicious waterfall of white fluff. This looks too good to be true, honestly. And you know what? There is more. Any guesses what's inside this mysterious red balloon? Quick, quick, because we're popping it in a second. Three, two, one, boom! It's mini Smarties. One of my favorite sweets ever. How flipping delightful does this look? So rich, decadent, too much of everything, but at the same time, just the perfect combination of all my favorite things. That's it. I can't wait a second oh, more. Yeah. I'm totally ready to take a bite of this. Oh, wow. This is just incredible. I wish you could all come here and taste it. It is that amazing. Amazing. And of course, this is way too much sugar for anyone to eat alone. So if you decide to make this epic dessert, make sure to share it with your friends. Nom, nom, nom. Here's how I make my favorite hot chocolate. Put in a blender one ripe banana, a tablespoon of 100% cacao powder and hot milk. Usually I go for the almond milk. Whiz it up and you have the most delicious, creamy and healthy hot chocolate. If you use cold milk, you can call it a smoothie, but in any case, it tastes amazing. You can enjoy it just like that, but we have to proceed with some balloon popping action and make it a bit more extra. First up is the long yellow balloon. I wonder what's inside. Oh, it's a whipped cream. No hot chocolate is complete without it, so lots of whipped cream is definitely a must. This looks so tasty already. Nom nom. Let's see what this pinky balloon has to offer. Oh, it's a bunch of fluffy marshmallows. Mmm, marshmallows and hot chocolate really are yeah. a match made in heaven. But we have one more balloon. Ready, set, go. What an epic explosion of cacao powder. Let's ignore the fact that this powder ended up all around my apartment because this looks too tasty to worry about that. And the shot looked spectacular, so I take it. The last thing missing is a sweet candy cane, so pop it in and you have the most yummy festive drink ever to indulge with. Right now is a perfect time for warm drinks like this. You can customize them and add other toppings like shredded chocolate, melted chocolate sauce or even peppermint extract and make it even more holiday appropriate. Just explore and have fun with it. Alright, we had quite a bit of practice with balloon decorating, so I think we need to pass one final test. Yep, the birthday cake. It's time to forget what happened earlier and use balloons to decorate our cake this time around. I like to start by frosting the cake with some simple whipped cream and I apply an even layer all over. To make the side of the cake nice and neat, make vertical lines with the help of a piping bag or one of those plastic cake decorating tools. I also mix a few drops of food coloring to cream here which gave me a lovely pinky color. I decided to make a sprinkles explosion cake, which means I have to put together a variety of sprinkles in different colors and sizes. Are we guys ready to pop this monster? Okay, let's do it. Although I'm pretty scared, I must admit. 3, 2, 1. Can you hear the sound of sprinkles entering every single corner of my apartment? I tell ya, the mess is real, but the result is stunning, don't you think? The cake looks so colorful and fun. It definitely proves that a random explosion of fun can be pretty and interesting, plus we don't have to stress about making everything perfect and precise. I would call this a beautiful chaos cake. 
I think it's time to celebrate, so let's stick a cake sparkler into a gorgeous cake and put it on fire. I feel like this is the best day of my life. There's just too much delicious food around me and I'm living for it. Check out how magical this is. I'm a perfectionist and always want everything to be pretty, super neat and perfect, especially when it comes to the DIY projects and my videos. I definitely learned a lot filming this. Sometimes you just have to let loose, set free and just enjoy your life and your work, even if it's not picture perfect. The important thing is that you have fun, appreciate moments and embrace the beautiful and chaotic mess around you. 